right guys, today we're out on the ice and we're going to be targeting some crappies, bluegills, panfish, and in addition to that we're going to be setting up some tip ups. So we got out here a little later than we wanted to, but we're going to see if we can get all some fish. For those of you that are new to this channel, this is Hook to Hunt, everything all about hunting and fishing. This is Sam, I'm Joe, Johnny Boy will be joining us later on, uh, and all our contents everything hunting and fishing we're gonna to bring to you tips and tricks to hopefully help you up your hunting and fishing game so we're gonna to get to it we're here late later than we wanted to be we got a lot of holes to drill we got to get on these fish and we're gonna be do we're gonna be doing some crappie night fishing so uh what do you think ready to get after it yeah let's get some tip ups set up all right Let's see him. No, no, go get it. Pull the string. Well, something triggered it. Oh, it's there's size to it. There's size to it. Some, come on, baby. Tip up down. Got it. Oh, it's there's size to it. There's size. To there's it. what? Come on, baby. <laughs> You're on. Oh, on the board. Yeah. You see how I gave it slack, buddy? I did. I was watching. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is a perfect eater size. All right. So, not your biggest northern, but this is a backwater pond off the of Mississippi. Uh, as I mentioned, when I was lining these tip ups up, uh, you want to line them up as heavy of a line as you can get away, especially get away with. So, I line them up primarily for walleye sized fish, which this would meet that criteria. Oh. Um, they get much bigger than that. Walleye sized fish. But if you do get a northern on there with that 25 pound uh, leader, it's it's mono, but still 25 pounds, it'll keep most of your fish on. Big northern, you ain't gonna always get them all. But if you go uh, real heavy, really thick line, your walleyes are not gonna bite that line. They're gonna see it. So. First fish on the ice, baby. So we are actually using just shiners, crappie minnows, on these tip-ups. Um, not because this is what we wanted to use. It's actually lined up for bigger fat heads and and uh, and sucker minnows, but one bait uh, bait store was closed and the other one was pretty much out of live bait so we we're making do with what we have Monster, but we're hitting them. Something big right here. Oh, yeah. 
stuff. This one. Wow, this one's nice, I think. What is it? I don't know. Fucking reels all squirrely. <laughs> Look at that. That is a fat chunker and it just took this thing down. Oh yeah. <sighs> Hooked up. This one. Wow, this one's nice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what Let's we get into a mess of those. Oh, that's what we damn. came for. That is a fat chunker, and it just took this thing down. It's so slow. Never mind. I didn't play at all. One person one person. Yeah. 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 Holy shit! Come up with some lips? Yeah, I might have a lip. <laughs> I got a fish though. Let's see what we got. And that is another one. Another nice. solid. Another solid fish. Dude, something just took off right here. Look at it. I don't care. I might have scared him with that. Another solid fish. Yeah. All right, going at this one blind. My buddy stole my flash here. He's jealous. He's found the body. Who needs a flash? Boom. It's getting a little dark out. Let's see if this comes into focus. But I'll have to show it later. But that's an Acme Tackle Tungsten Gold Googly Eye Jig. Get my deucer back in here. You bought that conversion kit for this couple of things? Yeah. Oh, shit. Alright. Yeah. That one's bigger. That one's bigger. We're running out of light. But another good size one. Fun day out here today. Hey, 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 hey! Woo! Yeah. Let's drop it! Yeah. Drop it too. Nice crappie. Right at last light. Whoop whoop. Nice size. Thick too. Alright. Right after dark, nice big fat. I don't know. That's probably that's a long crappie. I'd say that's probably 13 inches, 11, 11 maybe 11 inches. All right, we are finally all set up in the hut. It took us a while to get set up, but um, we got a lot of gear. We drilled a lot of holes. I was marking tons of fish, and that's what we were looking for before we set up um, set up shop. Last thing you want to do is just catch one fish and set up everything up and uh, think you're good. 
you know what I mean? You want to see schools of fish before you start setting up, and that's that's where we're at. We got a school that it's kind of said we're going to way around this area. We got one hut up. Just set up another hut for John. He's going to be showing up here soon. Um, that's what good friends we are. We even set his hut up for him, so he can just walk in, open the door, and drop his pole in and start catching fish, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get on fish here. Uh, already, again, I started hammering fish on the tungsten googly eye gold jig definitely been hammering the bluegills and sunnies on it so but like i said i'll link that in the description and i'll we'll get you a picture a better picture of it later here so i don't know i want to get my pole in the water and get back after it because i got fish to catch i feel like i'm constantly looking for stuff every single time but i don't know. So, I just got a new ice fishing suit. I absolutely love it. Um, I guess I can link that in the, the description below as well. Turn this light off so you can see me a little bit better. Um, but I am sweating every time I come out here. I don't need to wear the top 90% of the time. Um, it's floating, floatable, um, and there's just all kinds of pockets. There's uh, mesh pockets in the coat. Um, made to hold your waxy so they don't freeze up on you. Um, super convenient. It is a little bit pricey. Um, it's the most I've spent on ice fishing gear. But I'll tell you, it's built right. Uh, water resistant. And it's durable. It's going to last a while. So I just looked at it as an investment, right? So you invest uh, that money now. And hopefully it's gear that you're not going to blow zippers on. Like I said, you can hold so much gear in your pockets. I actually forget where I put all my stuff. I have to dig through like a million pockets to find it. So that's my own problem. I gotta get consistent on where I like to keep what type of gear, pliers, waxies, and everything else, and get used to that, and I'll be a little bit more efficient out here on the ice. But uh, I will tell you, I've used a lot of just random gear, random clothes layered up for years. Uh, and I'm definitely happy I went out and spent the money on this, this suit. I'm sweating still. <laughs> Maybe you're just a hot guy. Oh, <laughs> ladies, no. I'm a hot guy. <laughs> I might have cut that part out. <laughs> or leave it in. <laughs> or leave it in. Maybe I'll let the wife decide on that one, huh? <laughs> She's gonna be like, I know yeah. what she'll say. She'll say, yeah, nobody's gonna like you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ooh, yeah. I'm getting these. I'm Where are you at? I'm, I'm, that's me. <sighs> Is that not gonna work? Darn, I'll get you over A lip like Fish on. There you go. Nice. Nice sunny. Like a little bit bigger than that. I caught that one on a little white and orange jig with a minnow. Not a minnow. A waxy. You, you know what I meant. Bit too. So, That's on that orange and white jig with a. I'm gonna redo that. We're, we're on the backwater of the Mississippi here in this spot. You know, I mean, we're not probably gonna hammer any 13, 14 inches, but that one was a probably a good 10 inch. Oh yeah. Uh, perfect eater size. So that will that will work. That's what we're after, so that's, that's good. good. And we're still marking tons of fish in this spot, so. Yeah. All right, I'm charging this uh, jig up with the light of the camera. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go over the other hut, so I'm not bringing the camera with me. I wanna see if I can get on a bite over there. We gotta wind up with some waxes. Ha 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 ha.
Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fish on. I just switched it up. Went over to John's hut since he isn't here. Caught myself a nice 11, 12 inch crappie. Uh, all right, Johnny Boy just got here. I am trying to get him all caught up. Fish bite was good right at the start. We got in here late, drilled a bunch of holes, started catching bluegills right away. Uh, marked all kinds of fish. So we started getting everything set up, our hut set up. Uh, multiple holes side by side just in case we had to slide the hut around a little bit mix things up and caught a few out of the hut and fish bite got real cold still marking tons of fish but we cannot get them to bite so i did switch up switched up and got real aggressive to something totally different and basically i switched to this fire tiger if i can get it in focus here I had it outside the ice here, so the hook's all frozen sideways a little bit. But this is a glow pink fire tiger rattle bait. And it's a little bit, lot bigger presentation than what we were fishing with. Threw two waxies on it, started rattling it, real aggressive. Fish started swarming, let it sit for like a second or two, and just pop, just fish hit. Uh, it was the biggest crappie we caught so far. Not a monster, but it was still 11, 12 inch crappie. So, good start. Uh, still have all kinds of fish around in this area. We just are trying to get them a bite right now. So, we got dead stakes out with live bait. And uh, I'm gonna keep on trying to pound this, this hyper rattle. I probably got a couple new waxies on there because they look frozen. And uh, get her all charged up, probably in this camera light. I'm gonna drop her back in. Yeah. Eating on it. Uh, and you're coming in here with that aggressive ass fucking lure, aren't you? Yep. Have you caught anything recently? Yeah. What'd you catch? A little crappie. A little one? Yeah. Keep it though. Mm -hmm. Save it. If you're worrying about me messing up your giant keeper bite, I'm gonna be yeah. different. Make sure I don't touch the line of this freaking <laughs> land. <laughs> Burn my line right off. <laughs> you smell like a gardetto. <laughs> like that? My wind's blowing like right in your face. Uh -huh. Good thing you don't have the road up. I know. There we go. Fish on? Yeah. A little crappie. Yeah, I got a little bite. There you go. There we go. Good boy. Johnny boy on the board. <laughs> I, I fall in the school of little crappies. There goes the same fish. <laughs> go uh, put that one on a different hole outside somewhere. <laughs> Maybe the bite's gonna pick back up for us. All right. That's just how I wiggle my worm. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I tell you what, this uh, this chest mount with the wide angle view, ooh, it's pretty cool. Ooh, we got another one, boys. There we go. That's how you do it. Right there. It's a monster. It's huge. That's what I'm talking about. It's a better size one. Oh, yeah. 
We got ourselves a crappie here, boys. And I caught that on. That silver spoon with the glow in the dark. You can't really see the red fin, but it's on the back side there. You see it? And I've actually got it spiked with a little waxy on there. Works out pretty good. Alright, well, there you have it. We had a pretty good night overall. Pretty good day, I should say, in the night. We had a good time, but it was a little slow. Um, started off uh, hitting bluegills one after another, got that northern right away, we hit a bass, um, but the night it was definitely a finicky bite. It was very slow um, and we had to work for our fish, but we enjoyed ourselves overall. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Thanks again for watching. Like I said, this is Hook to Hunt. If you want everything hunting and fishing, definitely hit that subscribe button, help us out. Uh, and hit that thumbs up button and we will see you soon.